Good morning, today's the day. It is York for the spring April event. Coffee's getting started. Eggs are on stove, getting ready to go. So I'm gonna head up there and bring you along today. I promise to try to film more this time than I did in the fall. I have a great day planned. Gonna go see what we can find at York. I bought some stuff yesterday through a proxy that was there. So we'll see what we end up finding today. And then we're gonna come back here and run some trains this evening. So thanks for joining us. Let's go. So we're here, just parked the car over by the grandstands. It is 8.55, so just in time. I'm gonna go uh, down to the Blue Hall first, meet Sid, and then RBP in a little while when they get here, so it should be a good day. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're leaving the Orange Hall. Sit nice. Nice. We're heading down to the member hall to see what we can find down there. Lots of great stuff uh, in the Orange Hall. Picked up a big box car to go along with some of the other big ones that I've gotten recently. This is a Conrail one with the graffiti on it. So I think a little bit of dusting and weathering will make that look really sharp. Uh, but I haven't picked up any engines today. Sid got something that we're gonna run later. We're excited about. I'm gonna let him spill the beans on that later. Um, <laughs> I haven't picked up any motive power yet. I've got my eye on a couple things, so we'll see what we come away with. But uh, it's only 11:30, and so far we've seen a lot. So I'm excited to see what we can find in the member halls. Can't show any video there. They're not. They're saying we can't film in the orange hall either. I've got some video from some of the Atlas booths, so I'm sure we'll see that if you haven't already. But uh, we'll see. Uh, give you an update here in a little bit. Oh my gosh! It's Chris. All right, everyone, so I'm on my way home. It was a great day. It is three o'clock, about an hour or so later than I was hoping to get out of there, just so I can get back and get some things ready for some train running tonight, but it was a great day. Had a bunch of people come up and say hello, which is awesome. I, I so appreciate that. So if you were uh, someone that saw me and came up and said hi, or even just a, a wave and a nod, uh, greatly appreciate it. Nice to see you all there. It was full. I got there right when they opened just before they opened actually. So, uh, you know, it was a little bit slow for the first hour, but it picked up and it's pretty busy now. Um, and so it was a great day. Got a bunch of stuff in the trunk. I'm really happy with some of the things that I found. I found one of my white whale uh, sets that I, I honestly was starting to lose faith that I was ever gonna find. 
So I'm really excited about that. I've got something from Altoona Model Works that I ordered a little while ago as well. And my buddy Sid's got some things that he picked up for me on Friday when he was at the show. So I, the plan's to go tomorrow, Saturday, for a little bit after soccer practice in the morning. So I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not just based on everything that I got today, but really happy with a great day. It was awesome. So we're gonna head back and run some of the new trains that we purchased. And that's where the bulk of this video usually takes place. Again, I apologize. I didn't get a lot of video inside. Hey everybody, welcome back to the basement. So awesome show at York. Like usual, I don't get enough footage, but there's not a whole lot that you can do filming wise at York because they want people to come. And they, they did make some announcements that they didn't want filming or photography in the orange hall also, which is counter to what a lot of the rules have always been. So I'm not sure if that was a mistake when they made that announcement or not, but so that kind of made us a little bit more hesitant to, to do some video. So I have some still shots that you saw uh, while we were at York, but here is what I've come home with behind me. This is significantly more than I thought I was gonna come home with, but I had got some great deals. And like always, we're gonna move some other inventory around that we have here on the layout now to free up space for some of the stuff that you see behind me here. So let's go through these pieces one by one and talk about what we got and the plans for some of the things that we purchased as well. Let's check it out. All right, so before we start talking about rolling stock and possibly engines that were purchased at York, let's talk about a couple smaller things. So one of the things that was on my list were more of these Rail King towers. Now, I've, I have two of these already. One is on the layout over by the turntable area that I've, I weathered, right? And I did a live stream about a month or so ago and I highlighted that and talked about the process. I plan on having an article that is gonna be coming out hopefully at some point soon uh, in Classic Toy Trains magazine. It's gonna highlight the process that I use to weather these and make them a little bit more appealing to the eye of someone that models steam era. So these are old Rail King tower lights. They do not make these anymore. So I knew that they were gonna be, I had to find them at York and fortunately I was able to find two, courtesy of my buddy Sid who is there on Thursday doing some shopping for me since I didn't get there till Friday. So those are great additions to the layout. The next thing that I came back with is a little bit bigger. There is a big box behind me now. So that box and this base I picked up from Bob Spaulding from Altoona Model Works. And this I ordered back in, I think, January or so, uh, maybe February. Either way, this is the two bay diesel facility that Altoona Model Works does. So this base might look familiar. It's MDF, just like my roundhouse base was. And inside this box is the kit. And so what I'll be doing is putting this together and it's gonna go over where my Corber kit currently is. It's gonna replace that kit altogether. So this is gonna be an awesome new addition. I'm glad that I was able to pick it up at York and we'll get that open and I'll have that, that process documented just like we did for the roundhouse project. So really excited about that. In fact, we were running some trains on Friday night and my buddy, uh, Harry Henning from Henning's Trains was able to stop by on his way home and gave me some ideas about what to do with that Corber kit to maybe make it more of a car shop as well and maybe just redesign a little bit of that layout, or the, that section of the layout rather. So this I know is just a box right now, but we'll open it up in time. So while I was at, talking with Bob over at the Altoona Model Works booth, uh, he's got a bunch of accessories and things like that that are available as well. So I snagged a bunch of these also. And these are just 3D printed scenic parts. So some miscellaneous machinery. I've got some more vents for the roof, tool bench. We have some burn barrels that will look cool back by the farm scene. What else do we have over here? I've got like a metal lathe tool, a little more miscellaneous machinery parts. And then I've got some station benches. So we've got a one-sided bench and then we've got a two-sided bench also. And these are just laser cut wood pieces. So uh, some just random parts and things like that that are gonna help scenic the inside of the roundhouse as well as the diesel shop. You know, I'll probably get these painted eventually and then we'll get those inside the roundhouse until the diesel shop is done but it's always good to come home with some of those small pieces as well those are really good so i went back saturday brought my daughter with me we weren't there for long we were ha hanging out with some friends but while we were there we got through the registration booth at the first table they had the set that she's been looking for the frozen lion chief set so this is the frozen two it's got this has been out for many many years but it's got the the blue tender with the lights in it 
I believe this has the Olaf car and the, the Sven car where they chase each other around. So pretty neat. She was really excited about this. So we're excited to get this out onto, we'll put it on the big layout. I'm sure I'll do a little review of it as well for anybody out there that's thinking about trying to pick that up for their kids or their grandkids. But then we'll get it. She'll be running on her layout, which will get it off mine. But a uh, pretty neat set. So she was happy that we were able to find that. And always, always a good purchase to buy your kids trains. So that was really exciting. All right. So now for the the grand finale here. So I was there we're all walking around with my buddy Sid. We went into the blue hall, which is the members hall. So people have like their private table set up. And we found a table in the back and a woman had a bunch of newer legacy engines. And so we looked through it and what we found was one engine that I don't have on my layout yet. Uh, I don't have it in my collection, never have owned this. And I need it because everyone says I'm not a Pensy person unless you own a K4. So I walked in to, we walked in, we opened the box up. It's in great condition, a little bit of run time on it. So I was like, well, I can't pass up a K4. I have to, I collect Pensy stuff and I don't have a K4. And if some people say you're not a Pensy fan unless you have a K4. So I added that and I'm super excited that I was able to add that to my collection. Now we go back to the orange hall and we're walking around and talking with some other friends and buddies and catching up with some of the Detroit three railer guys who are just, Great, great guys. And we're talking, we're over at Krzboski's again because he's got great deals. And I'm standing there and I just happen to turn around and look down and sitting on the floor is this giant box. And inside that box is another K4. But I wouldn't just get another K4. I would get my White Whale set, the Broadway Limited set that Lionel released with the long haul tender K4 that you see behind me that comes with these four beautiful Pullman coaches with the olive green trucks. This set I have had on my list since it was cataloged. I couldn't swing it when it was cataloged. It was just a little bit too much money for me. Um, and so I decided to, to pass on it and then I pick it up at some other point in time. And then Time went by, it, they used to have, they have Nicholas Smith Trains had this exact set with the four coaches here in their showcase. And I would go and I would say, can't swing it. I'd pass it up and I'd spend my money on something else when I should have just kept saving so I could have bought this. I go this past Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's, like I usually do, go down to Nicholas Smith Trains and I'm like, I'm pulling the trigger on it, I'm gonna buy it. I go in and the, the K4, the tender's missing from the K4. So I go up and I talk to the manager he says, just sold it yesterday. We just haven't gotten it boxed up yet. My heart sank. His muffin had it, and it sold also like two months beforehand. So I couldn't pass up the opportunity to buy this when it was sitting right there in front of me. So I spoke with Joe. We pulled it out, looked at it. The only issue that this engine has, we'll back it up here so you can see. And this is an issue that, that, that happened with a couple of these is the, the smoke box color is a primer instead of the graphite. So if we back this K4 up, I'll stop it. I'm going to turn it off. The day. It's primer instead of graphite. So it looks a little bit different compared to the one that's over my shoulder here. And we'll do a side by side comparison later on. And we're going to do a full review of, of this set. And we'll do a full review of the K4 also. And we'll compare the color of that smoke box. But we can change that. This one's great. It's got the, the Broadway Limited plate on the front, which is really, really neat. And these Pullman coaches are just absolutely gorgeous. So there's add-on cars for this. I don't have the add-on cars, they didn't have them. If you know anybody with the add-on cars for this, you let me know, because I would be interested in purchasing them. Now, because of this, right, something has to go. So let's talk about that. Walking around, then I completely forgot there's one other thing that I purchased. More H20, these are H22A hoppers. These are K-Line die cast hoppers. And there's a gentleman in the silver hall Yes, Blue Hall, I can't remember. Selling these for 35 bucks a pop, or you can do a six pack for $200. So I ended up buying a six pack. And so now I've got six more of the H22 coal hoppers. And these things are just awesome. They've got the full coal load. They are pretty weighty, but I've got two K4s now. So we should be able to double head and pull that whole coal drag. 
It's got all these awesome co-hoppers. So we're gonna dust these up and weather them as well so they fit in with the other ones that we've got. So that sums up the haul from York this year. All right, so something needs to go to pay for these because the second set was not budgeted, but I wasn't gonna pass it up. I've got my 21 inch Amtrak passenger cars from Lionel. Those are for sale, 525 or best offer. And then also, this is something I wasn't thinking of selling, but the Preamble Express is gonna go for sale as well. 875, I'll split shipping with you. My email is in the community page of my channel. So you can look there. It's, it's Chris Trains and Things, gmail.com, but check it out in the community page if you're interested. DM me, 875, we'll split shipping on the Preamble. I've got the box and the shipper. And then I'm asking 525 for the Amtrak cars, same deal on shipping. I have the boxes for those. I don't think I have a shipper. I might, if I do, it'll come with it. So that's what's gotta go. So we can balance the budget sheet from, from this year's York, but so excited about this. Let's run some of these things around the layout. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, you're gonna see some clips of us running trains from Friday night now. It's gonna include trains from my buddy Sid, me, and then our buddy Eric, Eric Trainman. And enjoy. Thank you. 